So let us continue our journey of uh, exploring post functions, script on a post function on cloud. Now, this is the workflow that we have been working on and the transition that we are mostly looking at this particular transition here, which is on hold. So I want to do something when the issue is moved on hold and uh, if I go to the go to the post functions, I will uh, first maybe get rid of the post function that we added last time. I will uh, remove it and I'll add a new one. So if you click on the link add post function, you have the option to go to script in a post function and then click on the add button. Now we have looked at various post functions and we have not really written uh, any code. Uh, it depends if you want to do few things, few additional things like adding a comment or uh, maybe you want to add a label. We can definitely write uh, maybe few lines of code, but more or less these post functions are ready for use and you can uh, simply use the interface to configure the post function the way you want. Now we have looked at uh, post functions starting from add remove from sprint all the way till uh, all the way till this this post function called modify issue. Now we have the option to check the post function called run script, but we will take a look at this post function um, separately because I want to cover it. I want to cover a few different scripts that you can use to uh, that you can use in the post function. Now let us take a look at the send notification post function. Now as the name suggests, you can use this post function to send an email or notification. But the good thing is that it is your own custom notification. So let us uh, configure this. So I'll, uh, I'll use the name uh, description of the post function called send notification for on hold. And I want to enable this post function. If you want, the, the, the thing that I really like about these post functions is that you have the option to also have some conditions like uh, maybe you want this post function to work only when you have some conditions. Uh, I mean, you have some conditions in the, I mean, you can configure the conditions like maybe you want to do it only for a specific issue type. I think in one of the uh, previous example, we discussed this particular uh, condition like we were able to execute the post function only when the issue type was bug, not otherwise. So let us let us configure it. So we have uh, the condition for which this will happen. Last statement will be last statement will be the return value. Okay. So let us not worry about the condition today. So we have the option to either notify watchers, voters, or you can uh, also notify your users in case you want uh, users to, to get notified or you can always create a, a group a group of uh, your users so which is always great because maybe you want to send a notification to your uh, Jira developers or whatever or maybe you you have a group who is monitoring the issues that are getting escalated or send or sent to on hold whatever whatever the case is you can configure it here. So I think I will probably use uh, Jira administrators, but I will intentionally uh, mistype it. So I will add something like Jira administrators with double S because I want to see, I want to see this uh, particular post function to fail, how, how it fails and then we can fix it. Now subject on hold notification and then of course uh, you can uh, use the template here so the good thing is that you can uh, you can have a like like a proper script here that will uh, make this email look good and then you can uh, also also execute some additional code so that that is a great thing i mean now uh, maybe you want uh, i mean th there are so many things that you can do like uh, like for example in this particular case uh, if you want uh, this notification to be restricted to a specific group only, uh, you can do that. So I'm just looking at the example, but uh, let us see. Let us see how it works. And I will add this uh, post function in the in the workflow, and then I will publish the draft. So right now it will try to send an email to 
a group called uh, GRA administrators with double S and uh, I expect this post function to fail and I want to see the execution history. So what I'll do, I'll go to one of my one of my issue and uh, I want to move it to on hold. So nothing will happen here because it will send, in, send an email, a notification and uh, we don't really worry too much about the actual email part but uh, we want to see how it fails. So I will move the issue to on hold. Um, so nothing, nothing here uh, has changed on this particular interface. Um, and before I do anything further, I mean, I want to really go back to my post function, the list of post functions, and uh, I want to see the execution history. So I'll go to the project settings and then, then the workflow. Right now in this particular uh, project, we just have one workflow. So let us take a look at the workflow and I will go to the diagram mode to find my transition. I, I can do that from the text mode as well, but I want to keep it simple for, for you guys. So if you click on the transition here and go to post function, let us see, let us see what happens. So as I expected, it has indeed failed and I want to see details of the, of this particular uh, execution. So here it says, so it says, uh, okay, so I think the the script is failing. It is it is saying here, I mean, I can see the error. It says cannot get property ID on none, null object. So I believe the script that we used in the notification, it has something to do with the script. And let me take a look at the payload. So this payload is probably not very important right now, but I think it is trying to send an email to this group. I think it didn't really reach that point. So let us uh, let us go back to the post function and I will uh, maybe remove because it is trying to fetch the value of uh, something and uh, the, uh, the, there is no field. So I think it is looking for a field called uh, text field db. We don't really have any field with this name. Um, maybe so what I'll do, I'll probably just uh, use a simple text here like uh, this is the email for on hold and uh, if I look at the if I look at the body here, I think it has to be within quotes. Let us try email body and uh, let us uh, update this. So let us see if it works now or if I, I still don't expect it to work because there is no group with the name Jira administrators with double S. I will probably publish it uh, for some reason it has not really shown the post function here but anyways let us publish it. When you're working with Jira Cloud, it can be a bit, uh, I mean, the experience is not the same because it is on cloud. It is not your own server, but it works. So let us go back to the issue and uh, let us take a look at the issue again. And uh, I want to execute the transition one more time. So let us uh, click on the workflow and move the issue to on hold. Okay. on hold okay nothing happened which is fine let us go back to the diagram mode and uh, let us click on the edit button on top and let us take a look at the execution history post function and uh, yes it has failed again which is fine Okay, so let us now look at the error message and the error message is now very clear. It says, uh, uh, it tried to look for the G administrator group, but there is no group. So it says, uh, I mean, you can look at the JSON response here and I think uh, this is like the assertion, which is quite good because uh, you can see here that this particular group was not found. 
and that is why the the post function failed so now let us like now let us make it work and uh, i want to now change the group name to the correct group which is uh, jira administrator with without any double s so let us do that and uh, click on the update and publish and uh, let me click on the no and uh, we'll go back to the issue i'll wait for the post function not post function but the workflow to be published and uh, i will move the issue to not really done but anyway it, it shouldn't matter so now let us move the issue to on hold one more time and let us see if the email is sent or not using the post function so if i now look at the diagram and if i click on the edit on top and if we go to the on hold post function the list of post functions now i want to look at the execution history and i hope it to work this time and yeah definitely it has uh, it is showing here notification sent i don't really have of course my email open right now but let me open my email i will uh, i want to see if i receive an email that is not the important part to be honest because uh, i wanted to send an email first and see how it looks like so it has probably sent an email to to um, all the users in my jira administrator group so if i try to open my email and if i if i try to to check for the email just give me a minute i'm trying to find it and by the way just for your uh, information i have actually received an email here with uh, even even for the failure so that is a good thing because i, I think it's probably for the logging purpose but uh, i want to show you the email now give me a second so if i can show you the email body yep i have the email i have the email just just one minute i'm trying to show you the email that i received not every, not anything else and it looks good to me because i have the i mean uh, although in the body of the email we didn't really do much apart from just a small message like hello in our case it is uh, um just one email body nothing else so yeah it is now loaded and if i now show you my email so if you look here we have the on hold notification and uh, it is now of course not showing a lot apart from this email body but the good thing is that if the good thing is that you have you can have template your own custom template if you want maybe you want to include some fields if you remember the post function field when we tried it for the very first time because uh, it was looking for a field and field and the field was not there but now uh, it worked and we know that it can be also enhanced if needed so we will continue looking at uh, one more post function that we have in the in the script now for jira on cloud the built in post function kind of a thing but we always have the option to write our own script and we will also cover a few scripts to see how it works so that is all i wanted to share in this video i hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today thank you very much